Freshman Congresswoman Jackie Rosen is looking to change her title come November, from House Representative to U.S. Senator. The Nevada Democrat is running against vulnerable incumbent Republican Dean Heller. He's finishing out his first term in the Senate and is running neck and neck with Rosen. We sat down with her as she met with voters to discuss some of the biggest issues facing Nevadans right now. We're one year, a little bit under one year, almost at the one year after the shooting, and the state, the federal government have done little to really make a difference. What is going to be the thing that makes the difference? We can fully protect the Second Amendment. There's hunting, collecting, uh, sport shooting, all those things, and have reasonable safety, public safety. And so I'm distressed that um, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle who just really caved to the gun lobby instead of listening and thinking about what's reasonable and right for public safety. Uh, thoughts and prayers are, um, uh, they really are pretty empty. So you support a ban on assault weapons? Is a that ban, Well, a ban going forward on assault, military style assault rifles. Is that going to be a tough sell in a state like this? Well, I think uh, going forward we can do that. We've had that in the past. We're not going to take anyone's guns away. But going forward, if we stop one bad actor, then that's a good thing. We can ban bump stocks. I think even the uh, uh, NRA agrees with that one. We can limit the capacity of magazines. We know in the case of Gabby Giffords and in others, when the uh, shooter was changing the magazine, that's when we were able to apprehend them. We can do a few other things, and we can also um, limit, uh, or not limit, raise um, uh, fund, excuse me, fully fund research on the causes of gun violence. And so what does that mean? We used to have a ban on doing research on gun violence in our communities. They lifted the ban, they haven't funded it. Because we know some of the top reasons for gun death in this country are suicide and domestic violence. So if we can do the research in our communities and we can say at this, in this zip code, it's suicide of 18 year olds, then perhaps we put more counselors in the school or it's for domestic violence, we have more shelters. We can do things in each and every one of our communities by understanding the data to prevent tragedy. How do you show people who are second, say that you want to repeal the Second Amendment that you're still on their side as well? Well, listen to my words. I fully support the Second Amendment. I do not want to take anyone's guns away. I just want to close the commercial uh, gun show loophole. Stop terrorists from buying guns stopping bad actors from doing something so horrific and reasonable people understand that you can do both because they want to do both they want to have guns and hunt and shoot and do all the things and collect go out with their families they want to go to a concert too um, you don't support sanctuary cities or this nevada becoming a sanctuary state why is that well, we don't have sanctuary cities in nevada uh, attorney general jeff sessions says so himself um, What's important is that we allow um, our local law enforcement to do their job to keep us safe, and they've done a tremendous job. And when I speak with local law enforcement, our judicial community, what's important is community policing, that our local law enforcement can go into these communities in the Boys and Girls Clubs, in community centers, and make relationships so people aren't afraid to be out on the street, aren't afraid to talk to them. That's the way our local law enforcement keeps us safer, and if we make them do something else, it's going to uh, make our communities less safe overall. There's been a lot of outside money in this race. How do, how do you, you know, reconcile that, uh, especially on your side, where this has kind of a, a become a, more of a political issue in the last few years? Well, I can tell you I'm the only person in the race that supports a constitutional amendment to end Citizens United because Citizens United ruling that the Supreme Court made is what's created this dark money in politics, this lack of transparency. I'm on the Disclose Act, which would be sure that you would know who is putting money into races. And the reason we want to end Citizens United is because the most important voices that should be heard in our campaign should be ones of individuals. And I can tell you that uh, it does cost a lot of money to have uh, to do this and to be on TV and do all the things that you need to do and connect with voters. But I have a grassroots campaign, and as of uh, June 30th, we'll have the new numbers coming out next week. I had over 165,000 contributions to my campaign, average contribution less than 100 bucks. So what that tells me is that people around the country understand that Nevada's number one, that Dean Heller's the most vulnerable senator, 
that I'm the person that can win and they're willing to send me their, uh, their finances or cards or support, uh, their, it, it, everything, 165,000 and now many more than that to win this race. We reached out to Senator Heller multiple times for an interview. He did not respond to our request.